Just a girl in her van and a video cam. It's Marley. Marley and me. Hey guys, and welcome to the first episode of the Q&A series I am doing all geared towards van life. So the first question I wanna be covering is how do you charge things when you're living out of a van? So I know a lot of van lifers have complete solar setups on the top of their van. For me, I don't have a permanent setup on the top of my van, and that's something I chose based on my own preferences. For my first full-time van life experience, I wanted to really experience what it's like to live in a van, not in an RV, not in a van RV, in a van. However, there are two products that are incredible for any van lifer or just outdoor enthusiast that needs to have some kind of source of power and you have to recharge your camera, things like that. So the first product I'm going to be showing you guys is the Jackery 240 Explorer. And this thing is a beast. The Jackery Explorer 240 is a portable power station that has an AC outlet, carport, and USB outputs. It has a 240 watt hour capacity so it can charge multiple devices at once. The best way I can describe this is a bigger and better version of a little battery pack that you would use for your phone. So I know a lot of students in college like to use those little battery packs. They put them in their backpack. If their phone dies, they can just plug it in and they basically can have energy for their phone whenever they need it, regardless of whether they have an electrical outlet with electricity. It can charge my laptop fully more than once. So basically, if I want to charge something, set that down on the ground, grab my laptop. I'm going to plug this in right here. And I'm only going to press the light that's in the same square as the one that I'm charging. Okay. So as you can see, my battery is low on my laptop. Plug this in. Suddenly I have power. This gives me the access to edit on the road whenever I want. So I can be on the beach in California and if I need power, pick this up. It's actually really not that heavy. It's a, it's a few pounds. It's compact. It has a really convenient handle. Set it down next to me. Suddenly I have all the power I need to be able to edit whatever I want. And one of the coolest things about this is that it actually comes with a carport. So you can charge this while you're driving and then when you get to your destination, you have power. So you can charge it in the wall at a coffee shop or you could just charge it from your vehicle. How cool is that? It's really freaking cool. There's also this really convenient gauge which just tells you how much percentage of battery left you have in this device. That way I know, oh, my computer is already at 20% and I have 98% battery left in the Jackery 240 Explorer, so I can just keep charging it all night. There's a lot of freedom that comes on the road from knowing, oh hey, if I decided I wanna make a smoothie this morning, I could go to Walmart, buy a smoothie maker, and I have something to power it. Just to let you guys know, Jackery has partnered with me to give you guys a 10% off discount on this product if you decide that you want one. I highly recommend it to you. I would tell you if I didn't, if I didn't think it was a good product, I'd be like, guys, eh. It's okay, you might not wanna buy it, but now that we've talked about how to store energy that you've already got access to, I'm going to talk about how to generate energy from the sun using a completely different product. Swauke sent me this solar charger, which is super cool and compact and light. It has these little holes all throughout it, so you can actually stick carabiners in and put this on your backpack, or even if you're biking, you can put it on your bike. You can legitimately put it anywhere you want. So this is good for charging my phone. It's good for charging like small battery packs. I can charge my GoPro. Basically anything that can be charged from a USB, this is great for. But anything that needs, you know, a charger like this, you're not gonna be able to do that from here. What I'll usually do is place this here. It's kind of a cloudy day, but I think it will probably still work. Put it like that, that just stays there like that. Plug in my phone, and bam, it's already taking the energy directly from the sun, powering it through into my phone. So about 20% of the solar it collects, it turns directly into energy that I can use. It's water resistant, not waterproof, but water resistant, which means if I have to transport this in the rain, or if it gets a little wet from a puddle, things like that, I don't have to be super worried. And guys, this is on a cloudy day. If you look up right now, it is pretty dang cloudy. <laughs> You can charge two devices at once, and it will let you guys know that this is also 10% off if you click in the link in the description. Thank you to Swauki who sponsored this video to allow me to offer you guys that deal. 
So hopefully this answered some of your guys' questions on how van lifers get by without having electricity available to them all the time. For me, I also sometimes like to just go to a coffee shop, charge my laptop there. But if I have the option, I will charge this while I'm charging my laptop. That way when I get back to my van, I can charge my laptop from there and continue to edit. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I will try to get them all answered. This is one of my first like sponsored videos and I'm super, super excited about it. It's a really big deal for me. It's exciting because these are products that I really enjoy using and for the companies to be like, hey, we really want you to talk about our products to give your viewers these discounts. We want to partner with you. That's just a really, really exciting thing for me. Let me know what questions you guys have for my future question van life video and I will try to get to each and every one of them if I can. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next vlog. And so If you use one of those little minery, minery. <laughs> minery, I love it. I love it. I suck at everything. Shut up, no you don't. Ugh. You can do it. But I would highly recommend this. <laughs> this Polar by Polar? What is that? <laughs> or Traveler or Fluid Fluid Camper. <laughs> <laughs> this is so, does this happen on a daily basis? <laughs> you can't even speak English today. <laughs> <laughs> now I can talk straight, right? Yeah.